In this vlog, we'll be discussing completing the square. Just finishing it. What does it even mean, completing the square? Before we do that, well, this technique is used to solve quadratic equations. Okay, when you're solving quadratic equations, we have the factoring technique, we solve for x, we've used the square root property in previous vlogs, um, and now the third method we have here is completing the square. Some situations we'll use this, and we'll explain when we use it later on. But for right now, we need some background information. We need to remind ourselves what happens if we have a perfect square for a trinomial. What does it look like? when you multiply it out. We'll do one right now. So, that's what it means. x plus 5's quantity squared is x plus 5 times x plus 5. Now we're going to multiply and distribute the x and the 5, and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, now what you notice in the middle here, we have 5x plus 5x. There's two of them, they're the same thing. We put them together, it's 10x, right? So now, that's something we've discussed before in the special products vlog. Okay, I just want to show you the different parts and the pattern for this. We have x times x, which is x squared. 5 squared is 25. The middle is 5x plus 5x. Okay? Now keep this pattern in mind as we go through these other examples. x minus 5 squared. The whole thing squared. So we just did x plus 5 squared. Now we have x minus 5. It's going to be different, but at the same time, similar.
Okay, now again, we have x squared and 25. Those are the same as before. It's positive 25 because negative times negative is positive. Now in the middle, we have 5x and 5x, but they're both negative. So negative 5x combined with negative 5x is negative 10x. By now, I'm hoping you can see the pattern here. Okay, so this pattern we've seen recently, 2ax, 2 times ax, what is, how do you get that? Remember we had 5x plus 5x, that's 10x, well 10 is 2 times 5. And again, we had minus 5x and minus 5x, that's negative 10x, well negative 10 is 2 times negative 5. Now let's see if we can move where we have x plus 6 squared, I'll see if we can give it the trinomial without multiplying it through. Just using our pattern. No. Example 3, we have x plus 6, the quantity squared. And we know x is going to be x squared, and 6 will be 36 because it's 6 squared. What's going to be in the middle, though? So what's here in the middle here? Okay, well it's going to be 6x plus 6x, so it's 12x. Okay, now as we as we've done this previously, we'll notice the pattern now. The middle term is two times six x. Anytime you see a quantity x plus a number or x minus the number squared, the middle is double of the two terms. So it's the number and x times two. For doing all this work, we have reasons for this. Now, example four, let's see if I can work backwards and give you x squared plus 14 plus 49 and see if we can figure out what the, the binomial is. x plus what parentheses squared. So, okay, 49, the square root of that is 7. x squared, the square root of that is x. 
So now is the, does the middle match? Okay, so 7x plus 7x is 14x. Great. And there you have it. The same pattern you've seen in the last couple examples. Now, with the fifth example here, what if I've given you an x squared plus a number times x plus a blank spot? Your job is to find the right number that makes this a perfect squared trinomial. Okay, so 7x, x, x squared plus 8x plus a blank spot. Now, if we, were, if we go back, Okay, now this, negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. And that is up there in our, our squared binomial, x minus 5 squared. Okay, so now 6. Here, well, number 3 here, was x plus 6, the quantity squared. You doubled 6 to get 12. Keep that in mind. So that's that four. Hmm. We're going to square it now. That's the final answer for that problem. If you follow a pattern, x and 4, x squared and then 4, 4 actually double it, it's 8x, that fits, and 4 squared is 16. This is a perfect square. Okay, this is done for now, and next vlog we'll do more.